All right, in question five, it says, let D be the upper half disk of radius three centered at the origin. Part A says to write the double integral of the function f of x, y in the order dx, dy. Okay, so we're integrating over this region D here, pictured to the right. And we wanna set up this integral of just this generic function. We're not given a, uh, a rule for the function f, so it's just really focusing on the setup here. Uh, and, and this integral has to be in the order uh, dx dy, okay? So as we've said, okay, if it's dx dy, we first fix and sorry, fix a y. So think about fixing a y here between, in this case, zero and three. And then we're gonna let x vary, okay? And where is x gonna vary? From? Well, it's going to vary from this left portion of our circle to the right portion. Okay, so what I'd like now is a way to describe these bounds, right? So what is x equal to in terms of y here, and what is x equal to in terms of y here? Okay. Well, the key there is the equation of our circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to nine, right? Because it has a radius of three. So solving, we would get x is equal to plus or minus the square root of nine minus y squared. And so over here on the left, that's, that's gonna be when x is negative. So this is gonna be the negative square root of nine minus y squared. And this is gonna be the positive square root. Okay, so for the bounds, right, we're gonna let x vary from the negative square root of nine minus y squared up to the positive square root. And then we're letting uh, y vary from, well, zero to three. Okay, pretty ugly, right? Um, and in part that's because uh, the boundary of our region is circular. Okay, we're gonna see in section 14.3 that if we convert to polar coordinates, uh, this kind of integral is actually far, far easier to set up. All right, and then for part B, um, we're asked to just set up that same integral, but now in the order dy dx, okay? So let's say now, okay, we're gonna fix an x. And so for that, let's say x is right here. And we're gonna let y vary, right? So let's let y vary from where to where. Well, y is gonna go from, oh, here, I'll try that again. The x-axis up to our semicircle, right? And so now what I'd like to know is, what are these bounds for y? Well, the low bound, that's just gonna be when y is zero, and the high bound is what? Well, if I solve this equation for y, I'm gonna get that y is plus or minus the square root of nine minus x squared. However, since we're working with this top half, I know it's a positive root. Uh, and so here, y is gonna be the positive root of nine minus x squared. Okay, so for the bounds on y, where we fixed an x, it's gonna vary from zero up to the square root of nine minus x squared. And now think about stacking these vertical strips to fill out our region in blue. And we're letting x vary from, well, negative three to three. Okay, that's gonna do it for this question. Thank you.